Hey there, Matt Wolf here, Easy Video Suite super fan. I want to give you a little sneak peek inside of Easy Video Suite and show you exactly why I love it so much. This software basically runs my business. If you go to the wordpressclassroom.com right now, that is my main business and the whole site revolves around video and all those videos were added using Easy Video Suite. It's basically been integral to the success of my business. This is just some highlights of my favorite features. Now, first of all, if you go into the files area, I just love the drag and drop. I can just move videos to folders. I can select multiple videos and move them into folders. It just keeps my videos ultra, ultra organized, and I love that. I don't like list, looking at just a giant list of videos. I like the organization of just a ton of videos organized into folders that are easy to find. Okay, so I love the organization. It's just, it's great. Probably my most used feature is the pages feature. Uh, this was in Easy Video Player and Easy Video Player 2, but the new pages feature is just so much better. It's just so drag and drop simple. I want to change this uh, this headline on this page here. You know, I just type whatever I want and save it. Just change it to EBS Affiliates. Let's save it. Uh, I want to add uh, some Facebook comments to drag them. Boom, Facebook comments are there. I want to add a like button to this page. There it is, like button. I want to add some HTML. Go ahead and edit this HTML box here. There you go, got some HTML in there. And that's it. I've got a page. I don't even need any sort of external software to create my pages anymore. All I do is give them this link that I'm creating here, and it's good. I can create entire sales pages. I can t create entire squeeze pages. I can create affiliate promotions all from within inside of Easy Video Suite without needing any other thing. I don't even need my own host anymore. I, can, I just send people to this uh, link right here. That's it. I can change the, the layout. Look, design, change, just like that. Click of one button, I change the entire look of the site. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's check this out. I'll just copy this here. Just copy this new link that it just gave me. And let's take a look at the page that I just created. Paste it up here. Here we go. That's the page I just created. You can see I got my video, my title. Here's my HTML, this little link here. I got my Facebook like button, and I got my comments. That's it. It's simple. It's just so cool that I can just that quickly create an entire page that I can now send out to my list. I can now promote it on Facebook. I can now send this page to Twitter. It's really, really, really simple and really cool. And you know what? Maybe this video isn't converting the way I want it. Well, I can run a split test. How difficult is it to run a split test? Let's just go and find out. New split test. I want to split test this video with this video. And let's just call it testing. <laughs> and create the split test. All right, that's it, I created a split test. That's how simple it was, done. I have a split test. Now now when I send people to that link I just created, it'll decide which video it'll play randomly, and then once one of the video wins out, it'll automatically just play that one over and over again. So I'll always make sure my highest converting video is playing. It's amazing. Playlist, let's say I wanna play five different videos in a row, just one after the other, boom, 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 boom. How do I do that? Well, create a new playlist, call it Sample Playlist, and uh, let's go EVS Training. Let's say I want uh, I want this video, uh, then this video, then this video, then this video, then this video. I want those five videos to play, uh, one after the other. Um, I could put a little menu of all the videos on the left, or I can just make it so they play one after the other without the little menu. Create the playlist. Let's click up here to create my page for this. Let's call it, let's leave it at sample playlist. That's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, throw a like button below it here like this. Just drop it in there. Uh, let's make it this color background like that. Let's save and continue. And then let's scroll down. I got my link for my playlist. Let's copy this playlist, open it up. And now I've got a page with my playlist. Uh, I didn't, you know, go in and change the video settings, the width or anything, but you get the idea. It'll just now play one video after the other, one, each in a row. That simple. Um, some of the other stuff I love about it, I love the settings, the way the settings are laid out inside of Easy Video Suite. I can come in here. 
um, go ahead and select my profile and it's just real simple I can set the width here let's set it at 550 by 413 you notice it maintain the aspect ratio let's make it auto buffer so it starts to load when they first land um, I can select a whole bunch of different players here let's go with this one with the bright green to make it so uh, we had a Facebook a Twitter and a Google Plus that'll make it so when they hover their mouse over uh, those buttons will show up I can add uh, player entrances that really grab attention so let's say like bounce in watch the video how it bounces in or um, let's go uh, pulse you can see when the video when they land on the page that video kind of pulses out bounce in from the left you know it's just stuff that really grabs people's attention when they land on your page let's go ahead and click next we can do all these little frames let's let's make an iPhone frame around our video or a iMac frame around our video or you know good for the WordPress classroom maybe even a chalkboard around our video let's go ahead and click next I can add a bar below my video with a Facebook uh, like button just put it right there I can add a Google plus one button just drop it in right there add a tweet button you know whatever I want allow people to uh, download the video just drop this download button here and it just puts these buttons right below my video click next let's add a cool little shadow below our video here I'll click next finalize click no just save boom this is what it looks like I've got my video I've got my little share buttons the share buttons below my chalkboard border there you go it's that simple and yet it's just awesome we can go edit our timeline the timeline shows us um, let's add events to it we can add uh, buttons right inside of our video. See, where do we want the event? Inside my video or on my web page? Let's add something inside the video, right in the middle of the video. Let's make it start at uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds and last for 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and click Next. What do we want? Let's put a little button at the bottom. So let's leave it. We can either do bottom, top, or the full screen. Let's go ahead and put it right at the bottom. We can make some little animations for this as well. Roll in that kind of thing grab attention as the video or as the animation rolls in click next and let's add a button right into the middle of our video just like that boom we got a button maybe we don't want a button let's get rid of the button let's um let's throw an opt-in form right into our video to do that simply drag and drop the html in and then copy and paste your aweber code or whatever right into the html you have an opt-in embedded right into your video simple that's all it is put a facebook button right inside the video simple just do stuff like that there you go I love easy video suite you're gonna love easy video suite it makes putting videos marketing videos recording videos uploading videos all that it just makes it simple as you can see it's just it's it's awesome you're gonna love it 